Well, tonight, as we mark Earth Week, we get a glimpse into our future from what's already happened in Iceland. We're talking about melting. WBZ meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff takes us to Iceland, where scientists are closely watching the glaciers. It's an island country known for its beautiful scenery. It's amazing waterfalls, volatile volcanoes, and hundreds and hundreds of glaciers. But Iceland is also at a serious risk for climate change. Glaciers are collapsing at an alarming rate. And while that problem may seem like it's 2,500 miles away, it's having a direct impact to us in our backyards. There may be no greater sight synonymous with Iceland than the shining ice of its many glaciers. Each glacier like a time capsule telling a climate story from thousands of years ago. But now, more importantly, they give a glimpse into our future. We see crevasses opening up, we see the ice melting down, we see the rock fall happening when, you know, when it's like a really warm day. Bart Vagety is a guide for some of the glaciers on Iceland's south coast. I met him on Solheimajökull, one of Iceland's most popular glaciers. What is the reality for a glacier like this? Like, is it going to be gone in 100 years? The last predictions I've, I've read um, are that if the climate is going to warm up by 2.7 degrees uh, by the end of the um, century, we're going to lose about eight kilometers of ice on this glacier. That means over half of this glacier would melt away. But that's just the beginning. Solheima Jokul has lost two kilometers of ice in the last 130 years. But 25% of that loss happened in the last 15 years. It's now melting at a rate of over 40 meters per year. Overall, we are uh, seeing similar changes as in Europe and uh, many other glacier areas around the world. Thomas Johannesson is a geophysicist at the Icelandic Meteorological Office. The IMO is like the United States NOAA in charge of everything from observing volcanoes and forecasting weather to researching climate change and measuring Icelandic glaciers. In the long run, glaciers in Iceland are not going to survive this warmer climate. If all our glaciers were to melt, it would raise sea level by about a centimeter. One centimeter doesn't sound like much. It's less than a half inch, just a drop in the bucket in a big ocean. But if all the Icelandic glaciers were to melt, that means the ice shelves and glaciers on Greenland and Antarctica were also melting. If those melt, we'll add another 25 to 30 feet to our sea levels. It's going to be a very different future without the glaciers. Guthfinna Athelgers Dotir is a professor and researcher at the University of Iceland. Have we reached a point where adaptation now takes precedent because we haven't mitigated enough? That's a very good question. I can't really answer that. All I can tell is that the glaciers are melting and the, the sea level is rising. But I think that it's never going to be too late. Perhaps not too late for us, but too late for some Icelandic glaciers. Iceland held a memorial today for the country's first glacier lost to climate change. In 2019, a team from Rice University held a symbolic funeral for Oak, hoping to draw attention to these melting glaciers. A plaque was placed in the now iceless ground written in Icelandic and English, a letter to the future. It reads in part, in the next 200 years, all our glaciers are expected to follow the same path. This monument is to acknowledge that we know what is happening and what needs to be done. Only you know if we did it. Back on Solheima Jokul, do you think there is a future of Iceland that is ice free? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, it really depends. Um, we, we see a lot of glaciers are going to melt. Um, it really depends on how much we can actually do to keep the climate warming down. It's hard to picture an ice-free Iceland, but that's exactly the path we're on. And we hope we can reverse course before it becomes too late. Here in Iceland, I'm meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News. Mm.